Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to mine for crypto and receive Litecoin on almost any PC using Unminable Miner. So let's get started. In this installation, we're going to be installing Unminable Miner and choosing to use the CPU mining option. Typically, when you use this option, you're going to be actually mining Monero. And when it's time to get paid out, Unminable will pay you in Litecoin. So this is the best way if you want to mine using any PC, and that way we're going to be using the CPU of the computer. So with that background information, let's get started. We're going to begin by creating an exclusion folder because we don't want Windows Defender to remove it from our PC. It's very common for Windows Defender to see mining software as a threat because of the intensity and the processes that it runs on the computer. Now, I might be going through this a little bit quickly for you. If you already have this installed and set up, you can jump over to the next part. And if you're looking for some detailed steps to walk you through it, you can check out this video that goes through every single step you need to get this done. At the desktop, we're going to create a folder called Miner. And now we're going to open up Windows Defender and go to Virus and Threat Protection. Now down to Manage Settings. And we'll scroll down a bit here till we get to Exclusions. Inside here, we're going to add a folder. And now we're going to select the minor folder that we just created. And now we're done. Next, we're going to open up our browser so we can download the miner. Inside Google, we're going to type in Unminable. And unminable.com is the official URL. We're going to click on the download link. Scroll down a bit here and then click on the green download package. If it doesn't work right away, you can right click on it and say save as and make sure you save it into your minor folder. Inside the minor folder, we're going to extract it by right clicking on it and say extract all. Click on the extract button and now our miner is open and we can go ahead and launch it. Now with our mineable open, we just need to do a couple of steps here to configure it. So we'll begin by clicking on the continue button. We have two options at the top. We're selecting CPU because we want this to work on any computer. Next, we have to download the XM rig file. We're gonna click on the link. It's gonna take us to GitHub where we can locate this file. We're gonna right click on it, save as, and make sure that you're saving it in the minor folder. Next, we can just close out of it, go into the minor folder, right click and extract it, and just go in, double check it's there. Here it is. And we can go ahead and close this head back to the miner, and now we're gonna to point to this folder. And there's the XM rig, and this part is done. Now we're ready to configure the miner and select the coin that we wanna mine. So we'll click on next, and in the field, we're gonna select it, and you can type in LTC or type in Litecoin, and then select it. And below, you wanna put in your address. So the wallet address you wanna make sure is for Litecoin. And now I'm gonna jump over to my Exodus wallet, and inside the wallet, you wanna make sure Litecoin is selected like it is here. Click on receive, and inside here we get our address. We click on copy, and now we've copied it, and we can switch back over to our miner. Now, if you don't already have Exodus installed, it's an excellent free wallet that you can install on almost any device. And I'll put a link for this video in the description below. So I'm just gonna paste in my address here, and below we have the option for a referral code. Now, this is not required, but it will reduce your transaction fees to 0.75%, so you save money. I'll put mine in the description if you want to use it. Once you have that in, you can click on start. And now we're mining for Litecoin. So that's it. We're already up and running. It's going to take a few minutes as it calculates a hash rate and benchmarks your computer. If you're using a CPU, it does take a little bit of time, as well as GPU. Both actually take a little bit of time. Uh, but you'll get a calculated hash rate that will show up at the bottom. You can see mine calculating right now. And it'll start increasing over a period of time. This process usually takes a few minutes for it to get started. Maybe five minutes. I'm going to guess that number. So now it is mining crypto for you. And if you click on the stats button, you can go over to the website real quick. And I'll just give you a quick rundown of what's actually happening on the website. And this is mostly just for informational purposes of what's happening. So the first section we have our workers. If you have more than one computer running, your workers will be listed below. Next, we have payments and anytime it pays out to your wallet, it'll be here. As long as your mining balance is over 0.025 Litecoin. And that's by default. So if when you have auto pay on, I usually turn it on because when you turn it on, it'll automatically pay you without even thinking about it. Next, we have the referral code. So I have my referral code, which is in the description, but you can get your own. So when you want to send it to other people that you know that are mining, they can use your referral code and you can reduce your fees as well as their fees by using it. Lastly, we have the stats page, and this is going to let you know how much you're actually mining right now. You have a balance, referral balance, and a total balance, how much you've made over the last 24 hours, a total paid, and anything that's outstanding. 
everything that you need to know about your miner is going to be listed on the website, so it's pretty straightforward. And that's how you mine for Litecoin on a Windows 10 PC. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking for other tutorials related to mining and crypto and wallets, please subscribe to the channel. We have many videos coming out. All the steps covered in this video are also on our blog, cryptojar.net, so you can check that out as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.